Before we can start configuring our PAN security appliance in terms of policies, SSL decryption, NAT, and other objects, we need to initially access our firewall. Right now, everything is plugged in based on our design that we talked about earlier. Now to initially access the Palo Alto Networks firewall for the very first time, the default IP address that is configured on the management interface is 192.168.1.1. Therefore, you need to make sure that your computer has an IP address from the same network of 192.168.1.0. In this case, that is possible in our design because our computer is plugged into this switch as plugged into this management interface. So the first thing that needs to happen is confirming that we can ping the IP address, the default IP address on the management interface. And once we confirm that, we can bring up a web interface and access that appliance. So let's move this aside. Since everything is connected on our network, we are able to ping our firewall appliance. And there it is. So now let's go to our web browser here I'm going to first type in HTTPS. Now that's important. If you only type in HTTP, it's not going to work and it's not going to redirect. So make sure you type in HTTPS. Next, we're going to type in the default IP address. And of course, this is a untrusted, it's a self-signed certificate. So we're going to add a security exception. Great, so this is now the main page to access our firewall appliance. Now the default username and password is admin. So let's type that in now, admin for the username and admin for the password. Now once we do that, for the very first time, we will get the following message. This is saying that our device is still configured for the default account credentials and to change them, which we will do later on in a separate video. So let's click on OK. So now it's creating the session for administrative session. And now we are connected. And this is what the main page looks like in terms of the dashboard. On this page, you will see information in regards to data, system, and configuration logs. And once we configure more aspects on our firewall, you will see a lot more information of what is happening here. We can also see the number of admins that are logged on. And this is us right here. This is the IP of our computer. We're logged on through a web session and we see exactly when we actually were logged on and idle for. You also see information in regards to system resources, like the interfaces that exist on our firewall and the CPU usage for the management plane and the data plane, including the number of sessions through our firewall appliance. There is general information where you will see the default device name and IP address of our appliance. You see the MAC address, the model number of our firewall, the serial number, which is needed for licensing purposes, and our current PAN OS or software version that we're running, including other details like the time and our uptime. And you'll see the various tabs up here, like monitor, policies, network, and device where we'll cover many of these different tabs when we configure the different features and services on the appliance. But that is the initial access for accessing the Palo Alto Networks firewall for the very first time. Now we can begin with some of our configuration.